got my pistol. I'm just trying to be somebody besides. <laughs> the first one. Cool. Okay. I uh, I hundred percent Spider Man. Hundred percent. No shit. Hundred percent. I didn't do it yet. I haven't started that. What was the last hundred percent? PS4. You got that trophy? Platinum trophy? It didn't hundred percent sell. Look. Yeah. No, I I. I I got all the costumes, but I didn't want to get all the little Korok seeds. So is yeah, that your first that. Platinum Trophy? I think so. That's yeah. the first one. Wow. I only have one as well. Oh. What's your one? Metal Gear 5. Oh, okay. oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But it was fun, wasn't it? Fun game? Yeah, Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was really good. I wanted to play... Uh, my goal this week for the MLK stream, I was going to stream... Hey, I'm going to... There was one morning I had completely clear, and I was like, I'm going to stream the end of Red Dead. I'm going to beat it, because I'm right pretty much near the end i'm gonna just get to it and beat it and and my xbox completely bricked xbox one x what was yeah. just went to black went to black went to black went to black i couldn't get out of during startup just, yeah uh i couldn't get out of yeah it was just a black screen no matter what i did i was so pissed off so then i did you know what it's like i i set aside time to stream what i'm i guess i'll just stream resident evil and then that, I was already stressed the fuck out about the Xbox thing. <laughs> that Resident Evil stream, I was like raging. It was like, <laughs> fine, I guess we'll do this. And then that didn't work. Uh, you what was happening? It was blocked to stream on PS4. It's like, why what? is this blocked? And I found out, just so everyone knows, yeah. if you have HDR on, it blocks it. It actually says this is blocked from streaming. Whoa. I turn and because my TV does HDR, I turn that off, and then it's like, okay, it's fine. So I wonder if so it's, other TVs can can watch it. Uh, any most regular, most regular, most people can stream the game, no problem. I had that one setting on, oh. and it that blocked it. I think it may be because it doesn't look right, maybe to people who don't have an HDR. That's monitor. what I was saying. So yeah. other people can watch. I it. think yeah, okay. but but other games I've had yeah. HDR on, and it just. It just dumbs it down and puts it out for people. Because I've, yeah. so cool. I've streamed God of War using SharePlay, yeah. and it'll just turn it off. It's perfect. I, I tried to SharePlay Resident Evil 2. It didn't give me a notification. No. It just said, you cannot stream this Oh, well, they need to patch that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, think that's what it is. They don't have an auto shut off thing when you stream. Um, so once I turned that off, you could stream it just fine. Anyway, so I played Res Resident Evil, and I was, like, raging on that. Because let me tell you this, and I realized something as I was playing it. They did a fantastic job with the remake. Yeah. I mean, it goes without saying, you don't need another person to tell you that. It's yeah. great. But man, I was getting so pissed off on, do, should I use my fucking bullets here? This fucking, zo I've emptied a clip into this fucking zombie and it's not working. I don't know whether or not to save bullets. I fucking hate this like limited resources shit. <laughs> Fuck this. I hate, this stresses me out and I hate it. And poor Steve from the UK was in the chat who said, well, Rocco, I'm doing an impression. That sounds just that like sounds him. Sounds exactly on. like it. And he said, "It's survival horror." <laughs> yeah. But I realized in that moment, that was my yeah. reaction to that story too. <laughs> yeah, and I realized in that moment, yeah, I don't like survival horror, and I, <laughs> and I didn't back. That's why I didn't play this and back I then. I never have. You uh, like Resident Evil Four? You like? Yeah, and that's what it is. It's like, action. oh yeah, I forgot that this series totally was not in the Resident Evil uh, Resident Evil Four sphere. You know, before and I, yeah. you know, and in my mind, I'm still expecting it to be, and that's my fault. However, however, I realized in that moment, I've had it on normal mode. There is a mode called assisted mode where ammo is not ever an issue, and I thought, yeah, that is for me. Oh, really? It had that too. Oh, absolutely, turning that on. You like that? Abs well, I haven't yet. The okay. thing is, is the thing is, is like uh, for if, to bump it down to that, you have to die a bunch. To be fair, I haven't died yet, oh, so whoa. I hey, guess I'll keep playing until this is until I die. You. But yeah. man, I'm all in when that weren't, happens. In Resident Evil Two, weren't there two unlockable characters for like if you could tofu oh, and hunk. hunk and tofu? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and didn't you have to like beat it with just your knife under a certain amount of time? No, I think you had to beat it and get certain scores, which is time based and how many save. Uh, ink ribbons you used base and stuff like that oh, okay. but also but the thing with the knife was the tofu only has a knife oh okay uh hunk has like some specialized weapons and a, his own little storyline has anybody sewers. here unlocked those characters i yeah. haven't because I, I haven't even gotten through my my first run is claire a and i haven't beat it yet because okay. i fall i've fallen back into the trap of why i love survival horror is my perfectionism in gameplay <laughs> i will do all this shit, run through a hallway, and oh fuck, Mr. X was right there and he hit me. Ah, uh, I took one hit of damage. I uh, 
load the save again. I could do better. <laughs> oh, shit. And then I do it again. No, that liquor just fucking scraped me. Oh, me. I could I could do it again better. Re reset. Wow. And, and like, do you get I, anything for a perfect score? No. And I end up oh. with like way too much ammo and all these health items that I don't even fucking need at the end of the game because I keep doing this like save, do it perfect. If I take a little bit of damage, I, I've started to kind of balance it out where it's like, okay. I've played for like a half hour and I took just a fucking swipe, one hit of damage. Just use a green herb. I've got 17 yes. of yeah, them. Yeah. And so I'm talking myself off the ledge, but I have to do that sometimes. <laughs> wow. I think if you're going back to a previous save, it's not perfect. You're cheating. So you'd have to start the game over to get yeah, perfect. Yeah, I to would get just perfect, start over perfect, from perfect, square one. Right? Yeah. But I do Wipe love PS4. I find myself <laughs> reinstall the game. <laughs> I reinstall the entire operating system. <laughs> Buy a new system every time you take a hit. Uh, I, I, I find I find that I'm experimenting a lot though with the game because you know I'm conserving ammo. I'm like not using grenades and certain assisted uh, items, but then I never get to see what it's like when you do use those. So after I do fuck up and get hit or take some damage or miss like half of my magazine worth of bullets just all around their head and I'll go, you know what? I'm going to load back the previous save. But let me see what this rocket launcher looks like. Let me see what oh. the grenade does. So then I'll, I'll like fuck around for a little and then purposefully get eaten and die to see what the death cutscene looks like. Then go back <laughs> and, and load that save and play for real. Yeah. So it's taken me forever to get through the game, but I've been playing like... I, I started a week late, but I've been playing like every night and loving it. <clears throat> Dang. Um, Dang. Yeah, yeah, on I was gonna say on Friday I streamed the entirety yeah. of Claire B. You did so it, it was all... eight hours. Yeah, he was... one oh. sitting. Wow. Uh, yeah, he was just gonna play yeah. a little bit of it and, and it was like I, just, uh, I... I could keep going. Yeah. And yeah, you did. And I just kept going. And then to answer Derek's <laughs> earlier question, for beating Claire A or you know, beating the, the story A and B, you do unlock fourth survivor mode, which is hunk. So I started that because apparently it only takes like 10, 15 minutes. It's a short you know, little campaign. Started it, you start with all like weapons and ammo, but you don't find new resources and it's so fucking hard uh I, I i got overrun by like a dozen zombies i, I ran out of my, my grenades and i just thought all right i'm done with this game and i moved on to god of war panic uh, <laughs> but uh i had a blast with like the full campaigns which in total was like probably like 16 hours uh 15 hours but and you've I done it. all four no i so I'm, okay. I'm saving i'm saving uh Claire A and Leon B for when the like PS1 polygon models come out in two yeah, years. Cool. I'm excited oh, for that's those. A good idea. That's gonna be really cool. I'm excited for yeah. that DLC. And of course, I've already I've said it a thousand times, but I'm playing with the original music. I turned on the old PS1 music, and it's I did been that great because it's anytime a zombie shows up, it, <laughs> yeah, it's so inappropriate that I fucking love it. But it's actually more stressful. Because it, it because it, it just keeps pumping this music it, in your it, ears it, every time yeah. something happens. It just fits for me. I don't know. Like yeah, I, I love it. I, I started the game with the original music, but after an hour, I put the you know throwback music yeah. in, and uh, it sounds great. I loved that music, and I love that game with that music yeah. now. But I do want to give it like maybe I'll do Leon with the original soundtrack, or my next gameplay, I'll. I'll you know, because I'm playing with alternate costumes yeah, now. There's yeah, there's so many variables. That motorcycle outfit that uh, Claire has for the Eliza Walker costume, mm -hmm. so cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so did anyone here? Did anyone here get Kingdom Hearts? Uh, <laughs> nope. I've watched. <laughs> I've watched when I'm not playing Resident Evil Five. Oh, yeah? I've, I'm watching that game, and I've probably watched about ten hours of it. Oh, Whoa. oh, no kidding! Yeah. Wow. And my best summation is just. Goofy won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know what to do, Sora. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. continuously <laughs> that line of dialogue. Stop saying yeah. that. That game looks like a fucking nightmare to me. <laughs> but um, uh, I, you know, but I know a lot of people who have it. Yeah. Nobody here, but I know a lot of people who have it, and you know, they they all sound like they're having fun with it. It seems like everyone agrees the story is a cacophony of bullshit, but. Uh, you know, not not even saying not even saying it's bad, but it's just yeah. like what the fuck. Um, but uh, but I know a lot of people genuinely having fun with it. My brother, uh, <laughs> my brother was on the same boat. Like we both talked shit on it endlessly. But he pre ordered he pre ordered it on Am Amazon once. Like mi like listed it wrong, and they put it for such a low price. Oh shit. Like thirty something and or whatever. So he was just like, well, fuck it, it's shipping. <laughs> so I I'm just gonna get it anyway for that. 
And uh, and he's told me he's like you know and, and and he said the same thing about the story, but he's like I'm having but I'm having a lot of fun. It's giving me something different to do in every world, and uh, and yeah. it's really it's really been entertaining. And uh, yeah, and so he was really positive about it. So and that's what I've heard from a lot of people that I actually trust. So you know maybe I'll give it a shot at some point. To I don't me, know. We'll see. We'll uh, let a couple weeks go by and see if that stays. But my girlfriend is disappointed in it. Oh, is she? She has told me, <laughs> she while she's playing it, she's talking shit on, this is just like the first, this is like Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't want to do any of this again. I don't want to go back to fucking pirates. I don't want, but each new world is impressive. I was going to say was, man, I was blown away. I didn't, the pirates world, yeah. I hadn't, I, see, I didn't really look at much before it came out. The pirates world is awesome. Like, uh. I love the the stylistic changes between worlds. Like I I was watching my brother play the Toy Story part. Yeah, yeah. and I, I I love the fact that they're in Toy Story. It's it actually big looks nod. Like, it looks like the fucking movie. Big nod to uh, Final Fantasy fifteen in the Toy Story world. Oh too. yeah, interesting. Uh, the, yeah. There's kind of some Final Fantasy references in that, but but uh, but so they're t in Toy Story. But then when he goes to the pirates, the pirates are actually like they're not stylized. They're like really good graphics. Like oh, they what? look like legit people and you're in that stuff it, it was really cool how it shifted the style of the game completely Wait, is the main surprised. character in that scene of style too or is he still the same i mean he anime? still looks like anime but Sora he's got like real like but his does. clothes are all dirty it's, yeah. it's it's all he's got a gold tooth he, yeah he still exists in this very real looking space and i thought it's, that was kind of cool actually it's just that like after the five minutes of oh cool we're in this new world and i can appreciate the story it's mm -hmm. like yeah I, i've seen the movie you're just you're summarizing the movie <laughs> and <laughs> then Oh, Heartless show up and you fight it. That like the fighting is so repetitive in that game. Yeah, isn't I can it imagine. This, isn't it's it the Kingdom same Hearts. gameplay as Fifteen? Hack and Slash, or is it? Or uh, what is it? it according, same as Kingdom Hearts. According yeah, to Hearts. yeah, it's like all the other Kingdom Hearts games. It's like this is this is the big complaint I'm hearing from my girlfriend is like I don't want to play the first one over again. I already did that to yeah. catch up on the story. Like, yeah, I, I do find that that happens though with a lot of games is people play the past ones. To catch up, and they like burn right out. Before, and then they burn out. And she I can speak. To, I can nah. speak to that dude. I played all the Uncharted's in a row to get ready for four, and then four came, and I was like, "Oh man!" It reveals the trick. Uh, you go, "Holy <laughs> shit! This is just more of the same." Yeah, yeah. Right. but you and know, when you that, haven't played in a long time, you're like, "I could go back to this," but yeah. when you've just done three of them, it's like, "Uh, this is more." But you know what, Derek? I really don't mind some t some series. I don't mind it just being more because I love that stuff. I don't mind it. it it's that. It, there needs to be some fucking time. You know what Between. I mean? Like, if they're putting a new one out every year and it's the same shit, fuck off with that. But, like, you know, Kingdom Hearts, it's been 12 years. I don't think it, I don't think it's that big of a deal if some of the stuff is similar. But, I mean, if you've just played it yesterday. Uh, can we pause real quick? I just want to ask Brian if we're, if we're okay technically. Some people in the chat are saying we're lagging I think, bad. I think, it's, I think it's Twitch. It's just Twitch? Yeah, Twitch okay. is this fucked is up today. For this sure. Is, well, I just wanted to check in. Yeah. My thought is no, the Super Bowl has Twitch just then. ended and everyone is now on Twitch. Yeah. So that's probably what happened. I, th I think it's on there. Right? Just oh. let everybody at home yeah, no know worries. what's you yeah. think We're aware. Crossover? You know, I uh, want to take care of you guys. I think that's what's happening. Um, well, uh, I'll probably not play that game. What are you going to play after Spider-Man? Yeah. Uh, well, I got the DLC and then I'm going to do the Uncharted Lost Legacy. Oh, hell yeah. So oh, yeah. I'm going to get those. You, you think you'll play Resident Evil or no? I was thinking about... I know you think to stream the whole thing, but I feel like when... Frank does a stream and I do a stream is very different in the yes. sense of I don't know how to play video games. And so it may be fun if I just do that here and I'll just stream me. You playing it? Playing it. The, oh, whole, the whole entire game here. Because be I, cool. I can't play it at home. Um, uh, it's a little gory for the nah, kids. Kids are, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would play well there. So I think I might just play it here. So uh, I, I think, think I, I honestly, the first thing I thought when I when I saw the dead cop and I lifted his head up and his jaw rotted off <laughs> is I thought that Lennon would love it. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that is my next um, thing. I was going to talk really quick. I watched a documentary on Netflix, uh, not about video games. Um, Murder. Uh, no. Derek told us to I, watch a fire fest. I one. want you watch that? people to watch this. I don't think anyone will watch it, especially not Rocco. Especially not Rocco. Porn Town. Because <laughs> trying to get Rocco to watch Ass anything town. is not possible. So oh, okay. don't. He says okay, but Beaver he still Villa. has my copy of American Adam, Movie, yeah. and he has not watched Septic it. Septic Five Town. But, but I but I watched Moana. You gave me Moana. Real you, death. Did you call finish on Moana? Tape. You know I don't think I did. No, you didn't. Faces and of Death I Town. I gave you. I gave you. Uh, American movie at the old office. So I don't, I'm Damn. not, he I'm gave never, it to him on I basically VHS. just gave it to him. I, I thought I was alone. 
Anyways, Dead Body Town. Get there is a documentary called Valley Uprising, and it's about Yosemite. I know. Oh, I I'm fucking out. know everyone. Right. Yeah, you're out. Hold on. I'm in. <laughs> Sell us on this movie, and I'll tell you how you're doing. So it far, it is about. Okay. Stocks are down. Stocks are down. Okay, it's fine. It is about all the stoner rock climbers who lived in Yosemite illegally and mm. climbed all these mountains for the first time that people thought it was not possible to climb. And it mm. starts to like. Back in the day, in the 1950s, these guys, like, I don't want to work. We're just going to climb rocks all day. And how it became a yeah, movement and hippies. this whole thing. Dude. Yeah. But they it, planted some but they're, do, they're doing these things. Like, um, the first guy to climb El Capitan, like, it took him, like, I think it took him, like, a month. Like, a long fucking time to do it. Jeez. And then, where did he sleep? Kept getting stoned. On the hill. They, they sleep up there. He kept like, forgetting where he gnarly. put his pipe. And then, as, to, as like, the new generations, they're interviewing all these people. There's, uh, there's talks about... How uh, a plane, a drug plane, crashed in Yosemite during the winter, and the campers heard about it. And the, the sorry, that the campers, the climbers heard about it, so they found it and they found all this fucking weed. And so they, uh, they were taking. <laughs> it sounds like lost. Bale, yes, it does oh, sound like lost. Yes. Instead of weed. bales and bales of weed and smoking it, and then going to San Francisco Aww. and selling it all, and they're yeah, showing back illegal. up in like Whoa. Mercedes and Whoa. all that stuff. They're fucking yeah. rich, driving Mercedes. That was somebody. Pablo's weed. They would okay. Smoke, the stocks went up with this. this they were is smoking an some of the weed, and then like sometimes they would catch on fire because <gasps> there's airplane fuel in the. It weed. was laced. Oh, and dude, the, it was laced yeah. with airplane. And by the time the Rangers found. The plane, all the weed was gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did it all. And they, they climbed it. half yeah. them. Yeah. So then, but by the end, it shows like the evolution of them climbing. And the it, it, I don't know if I spoil the ending for you guys. Go for Go it. Do it. Okay. Do it. I'm it sold. ends with this dude, this young guy climbing the face of half dome. With no rope, <gasps> he uh, free climbing. All yeah, free solo. <gasps> all he had was climbing shoes and a bag with chalk in it. What's yeah. his name? Whoa. Alex something. Yeah, Alex. Oh. I forget. I, so was this I, recently? It's a famous uh, guy. I mean, this documentary came out in 2013. And he had just done it there. Then, yeah, so, I think yeah. I saw 2020 did a documentary on that he guy. He was on Rogan's podcast too. I yeah, think. yeah he's he like did. the world's greatest climber. Yeah, young guy did. too. Yeah, yeah, young guy. He did the face of it. With nothing. And they filmed it. So yeah. it's like you have shots of him doing this shit. Just hanging it by one hand like thousands of feet up. Dude. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. It was that airplane you, fuel weed. You couldn't pay me to do that. Well, obviously. I bet I couldn't pay to go on a roller coaster. <laughs> what if we put you there? <laughs> <laughs> Sean was like, Sean just asked me that once. He's like, there, look, California's screaming. How much to go on that? And I said, you don't have enough. He's like, I really thought that was going to end with like 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks? <laughs> like it's a, it's a ride at Disneyland. I didn't yeah. think it was going to go to that. And I was yeah. like, Anyways, so the documentary is on Netflix. It's called Valley Uprising. All right. If you watch it, based on recommendation, tweet at me. Let me know if you liked it or not. Because I thought it was fucking great. I loved it. So y You recommended that we watch that Firefest one. I started that. I haven't finished uh, it. If yeah. you're interested in Fire, yeah, I watched it. It, it was out. good. I was interested in it too. And uh, I, I did enjoy the Netflix one. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I need to do the Hulu no, one. No, I'm now. good. I watched the Netflix one and that was enough. <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was a good documentary. Um, like you said, man, when the lights went down, it was <laughs> Lord of the Flies. Yeah. And that was pretty funny. Uh, uh, but yeah, in interesting. And then, like, I don't think I need another documentary on that. Uh, One and done. Well, I wanted to just talk about the uh, the hilarious side effect of that documentary oh. was uh, that they show at one point the team uh, the uh, there's a there's a really famous account on Instagram fuck Jerry oh, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, yeah that just like reposts funny shit and like whatever and they have one scene in that movie that you see them that they're like a major company with they and they're all in like this boardroom deciding yeah. what should go on the Instagram and I think it's so funny that's the first time that most of the public had seen that that's what fuck Jerry is. It's not just some guy. And then they showed this and now there's all this fallout. Cause I it's like, that. people are like, wait, this is a huge corporation. Wait, what? They ripped off all my, you know, th all these comedians are like, they oh. stole this. They stole that. Yeah. They took my video. Didn't give me credit. Yeah, they did. So like it all had, <laughs> it's like they oh. drew the eye of Sauron to their <laughs> company. And so, yeah, J fuck Jerry had to remove like 300 things this past week. They put out a new privacy policy. That's like, Hey, uh, we're not going to post anything unless we have a written thing by the Whoa. person. What do they even like do? They, they, they've been taking all this heat. They've lost hundreds of thousands of followers. I and, saw I mean, I kept seeing hashtag fuck, fuck Jerry. That's yeah. what I saw. Yeah, because yeah, all these comedians, dude, the uh, 
uh, that one dude, Vic Berger, Vic Berger. Yeah. who posts all the funny videos online and stuff, got a. Uh, he messed. They posted one of his things with no credit, and so he he was like, "Hey, what the fuck, man? Give me credit or take it down." And they responded, "Shut up." Oh, so uh, he was reposting that. It was wow. it was pretty funny. But anyway, uh, I just thought that was funny. Just by appearing in that documentary, it was like, eh. um. But how does a social media account like fuck Jerry or whatever that is? Because in that documentary, they were kind of making him out to be like a marketing firm? marketing firm. Yeah. 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 What? Well, how do they they repost? They just take screenshots of yeah. Twitter tweets, take out the like username, share. Yeah, them. I get how like yeah. stealing content works, but like, how does that make them money? Uh, so, so uh, like Comedy Central will be like, hey, advertise our new show, Broad Girls, make a meme out of Broad Girls, and then they Broad City, yeah, sorry, Broad City, <laughs> and so they'll post a screenshot of Broad City, make a joke as if it's like original content, yeah. but in parentheses, it's like watch Comedy Central at nine p.m. and they make yeah, they would post that. like Jack from Jack in the Box. I don't know. Fucking riding a dolphin or something. And, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. just you know marketing. Now you're and they oh, would get now and Jack in the Box is just in the is just in oh. the social because conscious. They built up this account by because they have like 14 million followers. Yeah, and they crazy. built that up by tweeting out and posting like funny shit, but it was all other people's. It shit. It was funny. You know how on Instagram it shows you who you follow that follows. Yeah, something like I had never heard of Fuck Jerry before. Me neither. And I went there and I was like, dude, all these like. My my brother in law, like, all these people I know. Oh really? Oh yeah. Following, he's like, I had no idea. Like your brother in law was on the list. Like, really? oh, I had no idea. Like, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. My know. dad did. He followed it, and and I, we were talking about this, and he was like, I thought it was just some guy. <laughs> like it, like everyone had that same image. It was like I thought it was just a guy, and, and he didn't like Jerry. So fuck Jerry. They got you. They outsmarted you. Damn. Mm -hmm. But anyway, how funny though that they just all they they appeared in one unrelated documentary one time, and it was like wait. If you're doing shady shit, you know, people find out eventually. I go. feel like doing Karma. Mega 64 insulates us a little bit from stuff like that on the internet. Like you said, you didn't know about Fuck Jerry. Right, and I just yeah. feel like you spend so much time being focused on Mega 64's presence on the internet. Right. You don't really have the same amount of time to just go see what other people are up yeah, to on the yeah, internet. I don't. Could you know, I if you worked a day job and you're an accountant... You can fucking scroll social media all day and you'll find stuff to brighten your day and entertain yourself, but you don't have that kind of job. You're right. always on the internet. When I look at social putting media, stuff out it's there. as a creator, not a consumer. True. Yeah. I, and I'm you're not probably not looking for like entertainment in the same way other people are. Yeah, yeah cuz you're creating it. Not. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, like I'm promoting, I'm creating, and I'm looking for feedback on those things. Yeah, I feel insulated from stuff a lot of times because I just don't care. Yeah, uh, because I I kind of see stuff from a creator side, and you know, for various reasons, I'm I'm jealous of their success or sure, you know, whatever. But I I definitely feel like I miss out on stuff just because um you know of what we do here. So yeah. you probably fall into the same boat as yeah. me. And I honestly feel like I'm not on social media that much like i'm i'm not you're the old guy you're casual yeah i'm like i'm, I'm not casual you're not on it but you're casual you're not on snapchat casual. are you no see i go. had it and then i was like i'm not into this and i just stopped but too much sexting he got rid of it yeah that was the problem <laughs> so yeah I he do, was sending I, out too many i have a lot of you know i have that thing where i think of a lot of things as tweets and i always want to tweet them out but i actually have to hold myself back from from Twitter, the rest of them, it's like Instagram. Like I didn't post anything on Instagram this whole last month because I didn't think feel like I had any. Like I posted stories, but those go yeah. away. So that I'll post. You know who cares? Like here's what I'm doing, yeah. and then it's gone. But when I actually post something on Instagram that's permanently there, or well, I guess you could take it down. But you know, I want it to be something worthwhile, and so I there wasn't anything. But with Twitter, I constantly have to go. Eh, nah, don't you don't need to tweet Same every thing. five minutes. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell myself that. Uh, that like, could be a good tweet. Eh, yeah. Sometimes I let it out and then I'm disappointed in myself later. Yeah, yeah. I never want to have I that delete feeling. a lot. I do delete a lot. I'll you tweet delete? something. I tweet and delete quite Man, a bit. And, I uh, rarely uh, tweet and yeah. I never delete. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll do it and it'll me it'll immediately be like, you know what? That joke doesn't come across. Like that was clear to me and not other people. Because I'll 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 like if I start if the first two responses to it are like what? I'll be like, no, never, never, <laughs> never mind. Fuck you, you don't understand me. Yeah. And also sometimes it's just like 
rage tweet too you know like mm. f- like what the fuck sonic mania makes you start from the beginning if you die what the fuck is this and and then i just look at it and i go did is the world better that i did that <laughs> I you know see. what i mean i see yeah so yeah i like to keep stuff up that it's like there's a reason this was put out as yeah. opposed to just i try my <laughs> hardest not to put any real emotion into my social media posts yeah. like i like to joke around and i'll say stuff if i think it's funny i'll take the piss out of people but yeah, sometimes yeah. i find myself like i'll about to tweet and be like wait am i really upset about this thing i'm tweeting about yeah if I am, maybe I don't want to reveal this about myself. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Try, I try your... to keep it, you know, I try to detach myself from the art. <laughs> uh, there are times that I'll make, you know, I hate the term dead. Dad jokes is a lame thing to say. It used to be like, it's not yeah. always, it's, it's lame just, jokes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's over, an overused term. Yeah, like, oh, dad jokes. And it's like, you know, I get that I'm a dad. I get it. But like, but this the, is a, I've always had it, lame jokes. It started with a good way to describe something. It's a dad joke. Right. Oh, I know what that means. Just like the word hipster. When that first came around, it was yeah. like, oh, yeah, that person, that's what they are. They're a hipster. And then people started using it for everything, and it's like, nah, this this word is lost. It's like dad jo- – I hear dad joke like uh, ten times a day, and it's yeah. like, you, what does that even mean? Yeah, I mean, it means it's you're a, not funny. It's a dumb play on words usually. <laughs> I mean, it means, means you're not funny. There was a time, there was a time where uh, all of us, anytime yeah. we said something somebody disagreed with, they would call us, any of us, a neckbeard. Yeah. There oh was a God, time when that happened that. too, and it's like, what does neckbeard me- mean at this point? That everyone here gets called that. It yeah. doesn't, you know. Yeah, I started shaving my neck because I kept seeing that. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got. That's uh, why upset last week it. I was. I'm planting. I'm a libtard cuck, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, that, but it. that's true. You though. can call that's me that, lean. and I agree. Lean into yeah. it. Oh, you know what I was thinking? 2020 elections. I'll be 35 years old. <gasps> What's that mean? We can, can, I'll be old enough can, to run for president. You president can, oh, Derek is it. coming true. I think I want to look into announcing my candidacy <laughs> yeah. legitimately. Yeah. Like, file the paperwork yeah. and run for president. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to win. Uh, I'd vote uh, maybe. Look, I don't think I'm going to win. My goal, set up a campaign fund. I want to raise enough money to put a political commercial on TV okay. oh. and just express my platform yes. on television. Okay. That's my that's ultimate, it. that's my dream. That's it. Uh, We've got the clip already ready to air. But yeah. legally, I'm, I'm able to do it. I mean, I, I meet the age requirement and I think. And you were born here? You're good? Uh, if possible, yeah. I'm, you have to question that. I wow. wasn't. I know. I wasn't Jeez. saying about oh, 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 you. I'm oh, saying you God. meet all the requirements. Fuck. Saying, oh, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, guys! <laughs> oh, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, I was. I just making sure that. Uh, I'm oh, Puerto you, Rican, okay? You we're, guys we're are legit. gonna spin this. This is. You see <laughs> what you're doing? <laughs> Uh, but uh, <laughs> that, you know, now that I, was a well timed. That was a good button one. press good. up there. If Brian. I could start the libtard party for for 2020, <laughs> do I would do it. I don't know what it, you know. Obviously, I know nothing about starting a party or being a politician. I found out the guy from Starbucks wants to run for president. Yeah. Fuck Wait, that. Who's that. Yeah, no. Charles Girl. Charles the guy, Schultz. Oh, I thought it was the guy who made That's the jokes Howard in the drive thru Howard for you. Schultz. Charles oh. Schultz is from Peanuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Howard Schultz, <laughs> the billionaire, and, and I'm thinking, like, what qualifies you to be president? You charge five dollars for a cup of coffee. Like, <laughs> what the fuck qualification is that? Yeah. <laughs> so Rip if that orders. asshole can do it, I'm starting to think if you're a billionaire, you can't run. I, I was listening. <laughs> I was listening to an interview with him on NPR, and and uh, whoever's interviewing was like, "So, will you change the way taxes affect the wealthy?" Well, I agree that taxes need to be reformed. Yeah. Well, there uh, you go. <laughs> uh, for for the wealthy, well, we de- we definitely need more money here in America. So you're not going to change tax the way we tax the wealthy. Well, um, I'm not saying that, but you're not not saying it. And the whole time I was just thinking, <laughs> "You fucker!" Like yeah. how. Just Ar- fucking say it up. or not. But uh, yeah, I heard another interview asked him. Uh, they said, "Well, you know, if you're the president, are you still going to run Starbucks? Like, you know, is that even possible?" And he said, "One cupperoni of blacky wacky oh. cocoa yeah. tobacco <laughs> coffee for you, Dilaruski." He he trained our famous uh, drive-through <laughs> oh, attendant, <no. laughs> Charles uh, Schwab. Here is the fucking. <laughs> Leader of the annoying barista movement. One Tommy Mott Sammy. Ugh. 
I'd like Stewie. to announce the Venti Brigade of the military. <laughs> We're going to, oh, we might even go Trento with this budget. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> fuck the fucker from Starbucks. Yeah. Fucking sell coffee and shut the fuck up. I, almost like once a day, fucked. I get an email from someone who goes to a Starbucks somewhere in the country and goes, I think I got the guy Derek was talking about. <laughs> Dude. And it's like, no, we, we don't live in Iowa, but uh, thank you. It must just be because I've seen uh, YouTube videos of like fast food, like McDonald's drive through yeah. guy yeah. who's like overly energized and happy to see you in the morning. Uh -huh. I think it just must be a thing like they train, when yeah. you're the guy. Or, or just a personality thing when you're like in your mid twenties, you're like, I'm gonna do that thing where I'm just like super positive, and everyone yeah. will know me here as the like really I mean, on guy. We've had that like flight attendants, yeah, come out, and it's like, hey oh. guys, we're on a plane and Dude. we're gonna fly. Get buckled up because it's gonna be a fun flight. It's just I'm a... gonna be Stuart, and I'm gonna be your flight attendant for this evening. <laughs> It's oh, a yeah, that guy the last syndrome. Few, the last few Southwest flights. Oh, remind me. I got to talk about my Tesla after this. Yeah. <laughs> my last few Southwest there. flights I was on, every way, which way, it was like wacky person at the front. Oh, hey, did someone forget this? And everyone looked. Oh, well, now that I have your attention, notice the. Uh, uh, and it was like, oh, fuck off. Headphones yeah. in. That's it. <laughs> you, you lost. You lo I deny you my. You attention. betrayed me. I deny Like that you. was like fuck off. With and that. Sure the fact that like mm, this year we've shaved six inches off of our chair space for on all flights. But hi diddly ho, welcome to the funnest flight <laughs> yeah. in America. Yeah. They like the airlines are notoriously the worst industry <laughs> that you could participate with in any. They fuck you yeah. every which way they can. So then that extra fake ass happiness yeah. is just like the shit sprinkle on top of a it's, turd cake. It's putting the cigarette out on your it's, body. It's kicking you while you're down. Like, yeah, I don't fuck need, you. like, just be real on any level. So anyway, I had no place to charge my car. All the stations were f taken and yeah. I'm waiting for my uh, gold. Morton's was getting cold. <laughs> your gold uh, scepter. And, you know, and they're out of caviar pizza at the pizza place I go to. Nobu. Um, <laughs> fuck, I got nothing else. I'm sorry. Fuck. I tried. I you, tried uh, to keep uh, it going. You probably got that twenty dollar elephant shit coffee from Starbucks. I did. Oh. No, it was cat shit. Nice. Koala <laughs> Lumpkin. Good. They feed a cat beans, and then the cat doesn't shit them out. They have to kill Civet? the cat. It's a yeah. Civet, dig them out right? of its stomach. It's twenty dollars a cup. Yep. yep. The guy who came up with twenty dollar elephant shit coffee thinks that he's laughing a, somewhere. Thinks that he could take us. That's the guy to who the next level. He. Uh, same guy who did Firefest, right? That was his first venture. Starbucks. No. no. Whoa. What? <laughs> I don't what think you... so. No, he's never president now. Uh Yeah. Garrett, you'll have a lot more time for research now at the Mega <laughs> Sixty Four headquarters. <laughs> good. Good. Uh, I yeah. don't know how much they gave you at the old <laughs> shop before, but uh, is Eric in the chat? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He is There's in the Eric. chat. What's up, Eric? What's up? I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad to see our boy in the chat. I know, Makes it, it, when I see that name, I feel happy. Yeah, I'll say he's it. in there. He tunes in on the PPS. I gotta say, Does every once really? in a while, I see him in there. That's nice. Yeah, I think our podcast is so good that he wants to watch it and then give notes to Bernie. <laughs> yeah, about how to do a good show. Here's here's how to make it good. They probably I, this is what you should do. I'm gonna speculate at Rooster Teeth. They probably pay him to watch our podcast. Oh, to do like, you know, steal write it down. competitor research. Yeah. You know, what are those guys doing that we can. What's the new people like what, grapes? What's the young hotness <laughs> doing? That we can get? What works? What doesn't work? What can, I, what can I lift? I guarantee you right now, Eric's showing the, a, a giant, like, yellow lined note piece of paper that says Baja Moss. And he's <laughs> trying to. What's like, Baja Bernie, this Moss? is what you, oh, you use you this. Stealing my fucking creative energy. That's right. That that Damn. was that, that was. Yeah, it was creative energy, Sean. I was letting it out for you. <laughs> it was you. Uh, it was good nighttime spirit energy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nighttime spirits. Speaking of, uh, a lot of people. I want to. I want to go back to drinking at Disneyland. A lot of okay. people shit on oh. me when I said they shouldn't have a, a a bar in Disneyland, and I was just thinking about the inverse of. Like a bar that only played Disney movies, make that. Oh, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you'll. I'm surprised that doesn't exist. And then I you'll realize how bad of an idea Disney is, would that combination stomp on would be. that so hard. 
they would say no, you'd, no. You'd be surprised how many things actually Disney let, just lets go because there isn't it isn't worth their time as a giant. Like that one dude, like that Escape from Tomorrow movie yeah. that was shot in the parks and filmed on the parks that has yeah. Disney stuff in it. Yeah. They never got sued because it's basically like, look, this is so little and dumb. We don't fucking care. It's, not, it's not worth our trillion dollar empire. You know what I mean? Disney actually, I think Disney actually forgives a lot. Really? So you never know. You never know. Whenever I'm in Mexico, I see like a candy store, always a picture of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, you know, hand and, painted on the side of the and wall. And there you go. They didn't even do anything. No, and, and it's like, yeah, no one's calling the police there. <laughs> I called the police. La Policia? But not Disneyland Tijuana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, is, yeah. You guys want to take calls? Is that even possible right now? Uh, can I say one more thing about flights, please? Yeah, I'm yeah gonna absolutely. Go. I'm charging my Tesla in a second. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about, there was some news this week. American Airlines announced, if you have Apple Music, yeah, that shit's what? just going to work on our flights now. Yeah. Wait, like, what? Apple Music needs a connection, regardless, if you have Apple Music. Nice. So, yeah, I was stoked about that. I was like, shit, that's, that's something I always wish I had. It's like, I want to find something to fall asleep to here. And I, I can't connect Apple Music. Dude, well, now and they you have will. all those comedians and comedy albums to listen to on the plane now. I'm laughing. Yeah. So just about anybody who uses Spotify was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Are you serious? But anyway, regardless of me being happy about it, <laughs> it, uh, it, <laughs> all these articles were like, this is kind of the net neutrality shit we were talking about. You know, like, oh, these pipelines that we have, uh, well, you paid, you can, That'll work. Yeah, Apple's. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, well, they paid enough. They'll work. Oh, okay. Is this going to work for Spotify? No, you know, it's just, no, it's just not working on, you know, it's like, this is what we talked about. Oh, anyway, you know, it's just kind of, anyway, I I thought that was interesting when that showed up in the news. I was like, this is kind of the things everything was, everybody was talking about, Um, but that's okay. Because now I can listen to the Mary Poppins return soundtrack. Fuck. Yeah. Fly to. Yeah, fuck Boston. yeah. Who's on that? Anthrax? Uh, just Scott from Anthrax, not Anthrax. Oh, okay. He does uh, uh, the the chimney sweep kind of tune. It's like a remix. They, Trip they, the they went so plain Jane with the Mary Poppins soundtrack. Mm-hmm. They needed Metallica. Yeah. Spice it up. Maroon 5. My brother yeah, gave me five. Metallica beer to drink tonight. <gasps> Yeah. Oh wait, you, it's not. Oh, it's not the alcohol they had where they played Metallica at it for two days. Did, no, that's that's, that's, that's a whiskey. that's a whiskey. Oh, okay, okay. They played Metallica Sorry. to the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, they had it playing in a room. Oh, that's that infuses it with the sound of. We uh, did. Yeah, a, that's a real thing. They have they have different uh, bottles of their whiskey <laughs> that actually each come with no joke a different playlist. We played this, this whiskey for a year. We played year. these songs over and over again. And here it is. That's insane. And this one had this playlist. So it, it and they say it affects the it. taste. Uh, yeah, Jason yeah, oh, Cryer yeah, bought it. No, Jason is, Cryer bought it. Are you joking? It or did like he really shit. Yeah, he bought it. He oh no, it. Jason Cryer was showing on Instagram. He oh, bought it. What? Like, yeah, he bought it. Okay, I watched the super hippie. But does it get up. you drunk? Oh, I'm gonna talk to Jason. I'm, I want to try it. <laughs> uh, what was I, in that whiskey? I watched this documentary that was like so, like Tatsuya Nomura, Crystal Castles bullshit. <laughs> Uh, it was about like playing music and sounds and stuff at water, and then like yeah. they freeze it and it has like different patterns yeah. depending on like if it's heavy metal or if it's <laughs> like harp. It it's an old school record. So maybe <laughs> I don't know. Like, but I, playing Metallica. If you listen to, I don't know, Ride the Lightning a hundred like times in a row. Like, they they have <laughs> like so much monies and alcohol that they do these weird things now. Yeah. Like, Oh, it's a gimmick. We it had this goes. on a naked lady. Okay. Nice. We poured it like, over they, her There foot. is that. There's, yeah, they have that where it's like. They pour the booze over her toe into the. Yeah. Into yes. The, oh, that is like a real thing. That, like, Dude. I was like, they'll do like. Dust till like, dawn. Hey, hey tequila. you know what? I don't. You don't need to do that. You if it's Selma Hayek's that. foot, you do. To, yeah, we affect it with black noise. Oh. It has an effect. Ride the lightning is black on the, noise from, on the experience. Oh. Do you ha- are you supposed to listen to that playlist while you were drinking? I'm that starting booze? to the alcohol think already did that it. I fucking hate everything to do with alcohol <laughs> culture. <laughs> drinking alcohol <laughs> and being drunk is fucking awesome. Everything else around all the alcohol culture out there is bull. Shit. Yep. My, people ruin people ruin drinking. You know, I people equal shit. Love my brother. 
Lucas, I love you. You love him. But when he talks about beer, yeah. I check the Dude, fuck out. Craft and breweries. I, yeah. Oh, I'm no. I hate craft it. brewery culture in San Diego. You know they're going to name? I think they already named like yesterday was Carl Strauss Day here oh, in San Diego. Okay. Yeah. To commemorate. Like, Our city got taken the over. Be- the beginning of the craft beer movement. I just think like that is so <laughs> lame. Of all the things to celebrate like San Diego, fucking independent beer. When someone's personality is alcohol consumption or marijuana lifestyle, it's yeah. like, wow, you just, you picked the most annoying two fucking uh, I don't character care activities. if anybody <laughs> enjoys any of that stuff. No, no, but no. When you make it not, your entire when, yeah, personality. When you talk about it and when you talk about how, ooh, I did this, I did this secret shit. Um, I got, I got f- fucking... Uh, I got a crystal. I got a magical crystal, and I dipped it in this beer for a hundred hours. So now it, it's cleansed. It's it's more magical. Like eh, yeah, yeah. It's beer, but but, light. but I kind of feel too. like what you're describing can it, honestly apply to just about anything. Oh, anything. Because I I do feel to me that's just a byproduct of excitement. You know, it's really easy to be excited about stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, well, sometimes it's not. But I I don't think there's anything wrong with being excited about something. But then sometimes it's like you 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 try to dig it up where it's kind of like, okay, man, like I think there's always a danger with like, uh, like not knowing when to like chill with certain things, maybe, you know, but I think that goes for anything. It's weird with, with alcohol though. I mean, it's like, it's kind of a negative aspect if you use it too much. Yeah. In most yeah, yeah. everyone's that's, that's life. A good point. With fanboys, <laughs> so I like, think that that comes from a place of escapism. Sure. Maybe like this thing meant a lot to me because sure. I would watch this show or watch this movie or read this series of books and I could leave all my problems behind because it sure. was just – it was something for me to like pour my mind into, but when that thing for you is beer or it's, wine, yeah. I just think like wine tasting. That's fucking lame. Yeah. Like my escapism is this uh, beer that, that well, I it's, played it's Metallica at. It's different than engaging. Like if my, if my thing to get away from that is if my if my escapism comes from like watching Battlestar Galactica. Sure. Ooh. I guess I can use that as escapism, but it's more. It's still. It's something different than actually like drinking to escape my problems, kind of it, thing. It started with me just being annoyed with wine moms. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah, the and I thought definitely. that's lame. And then the craft beer thing was kind of equivalent to that, and I'm like, that's also pretty lame. And now yeah. we're here blasting Metallica at whiskey, and I'm sure it costs <laughs> way more to get the Metallica whiskey. And I'm just thinking like, yeah. this all sucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. this all uh, culture sucks. But yeah. see, I'm okay with like being into coffee and like hey i'm gonna go buy that david lynch coffee or that special Mm. whatever dark horse roasters down the street you know like being way into a coffee thing something that's like all right that's it's a little different but being into alcohol like something that is like seen as a negative yeah yeah i mean it's right on the line to me of like with coffee and the no i guess but but i don't get that either where it's like i'll have a cup of coffee i like coffee yeah. I'll have like okay, give me a, a cup of coffee. But if you see like oh, but this one has beans from this certain thing, and this one costs forty five dollars, it's like oh, then you lost. Me. Yeah, like, I'm I don't not know. interested in like, that. But I but, but like there are, but there are like fans who are into that whole experience. I don't think that, I don't see anything wrong with that if they want to do it. Don't expect me to be into that. But 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 I don't you know. But I think yeah, it's just kind of weird with with uh, substances in terms of yeah th- that that have a. I don't, yeah, what is oh, what, is, what I feels, guess I don't want to be a hater, you know. No, and maybe, what, why does that feel different? Whatever, though? let people enjoy whatever they want. But yeah. on a personal note, I just think when you're that into alcohol think, yeah, or beer, yeah. you know. But I think, wine, man, I just feel like meh. we've all been around that guy who's like, "Hey, what, what are we doing right now? We're we gonna get I, beers." Where's I the, think the problem. I think, I think the problem is is that that's the, the the things that you mentioned are the only things affected by people super that are super affected by people with lack of discipline. With that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because I know there are people who are more than capable of going down the rabbit hole with that stuff. But you wouldn't – they don't exude it. They don't – that's their thing and they do it. But because those things have problem, contain people who have problems with discipline, 
they just become the most annoying fucking thing on earth. And that's because it is a, it is a substance that changes you versus, you know, I can watch Battlestar Galactica sure. and walk away. I'm not even saying like that necessarily people being drunk is what bothers me. No, no no, 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 no. And that's, no, I'm not saying that either. Being completely sober and all you want to do is talk about how to change the taste of beer. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's yeah. all you want to talk about. Like, I played yeah. this kind of music at it. I played, yeah. I but, played the Beatles at this, uh, at this Bud Light for 12 hours, and then it tastes a little bit different. I, it's but like, I, I would a waste love, of 12 hours. I would love to try it, though. Like, that's the thing is I'm saying you how much it. I hate it. But then it's like, if Jason said, hey, I have the bottle of Metallica alcohol here, and here's the same bottle, but no Metallica play. Do you want to try both? Absolutely. Oh, I would love to. Absolutely, yeah. I'm trying both. I want yeah. to know. I'm like, thinking, does it taste different? It can't. It, it can't, can't be different. It can't taste but different. But what if it does? It can't. It can't. It can't. It's, it's all in your mind. I'm sure it is. I'm just being a hater. Dude, right now I'm riding the lightning, guys. <laughs> it's okay to be a hater sometimes. Yeah. There. And again, with my brother, he's not the kind of person who's going to drink and just like no. till he's blacked out. He just enjoys beer and he knows a lot about it. That's my, fine. My brother-in-law loves craft beer too. Yeah, and and like it's it's a normal amount, but yeah. it's not his total identity. Yeah. Like, now, now, what are we doing right now? I was Let's go get some beers. at a soccer practice sitting next to these other soccer dads and they were talking about going crafting is what they call it. Yikes. And it's like, it was so lame and everything they were saying was like, yeah, you gotta get this IPA. I mean, it's 25 bucks, but I mean, you're not get the IPA. It's only one time your thing, bro. And they had that plan. And it's like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and I hate this. So I'm not going to crafting with those guys. If you want to be into something, that's fine. But, but it is hard to talk about because I, I just feel like a lot of it comes off of like uh, like uh, anti passion, like like uh. you know what I mean. Like it, it's hard to you know because some I'm not judging anybody for their passion. It's hard to bring it up. I don't know. It's hard to bring that up. There's a fine line, but it does. It definitely gets to a point where it's excessive. Yeah, yeah. And, and I do, yeah. Outside of and I'm not talking about consumption or alcoholism or addiction. Yeah. I'm not commenting on that. It could even be a person who doesn't drink, but they're just really obsessed with like beer culture. I just feel like that's such a weird thing to build a whole yeah. culture around. Certain things, yeah, certain things that it happens a lot with, like uh, beer. Um, other things aren't so annoying, like people who get obsessed with panic rooms and go do a bunch of these, or not panic rooms, escape rooms. Mm. Have you ever gotten a conversation with someone who tells you about the fifteen hundred panic? I've always wanted to do an escape room. Yeah, I haven't done and one. Yeah, I've never done one. I've never done one. And anybody who's been around in a position doing with me, they're all like, "I, I can't do it. I have claustrophobia. I'll, I'll have it. I'll have anxiety." And I'm just oh, like, "What?" Every time I want to do a panic room, everybody with me refuses to go in. Like, I, I am not going to be locked in a room where I cannot get out. We should do one at a con or something when we're out there. Yeah. That'd be fun. I'd like to do one with you guys. I always feel like it'd be too Escape easy. Escape room. Yeah. Yeah, Garrett's uh, prepared. I've yeah. heard of some <laughs> awesome ones. I heard of this one where they lock, like, it's three people, and they lock you each in a different jail cell, and you have to, like, oh. communicate with each other to Whoa. work together hey. to break out. And some of them sound really fun. I'd love to do it, but nobody will participate with me yeah. i'm so lonely we yeah. should do uh, one together. we should we should do one uh i just want to say too i i talked about like people having a problem with discipline uh, yeah because i know people who have a problem with discipline but there was a lot of people in the chat saying like alcoholism is not just a problem with discipline and i, I didn't say anything about alcoholism i wasn't even talking yeah about we that. weren't commenting I, on that. I know people who just have a problem with discipline in general and that's all i was talking about so don't that yeah, they I'm read don't put to, words in my mouth. They read into. All I'm not mad about what you said, Rocco. Yeah, no, okay. you're pissed. It's okay. When I get a new, um, like hobby, I go. I get far into it. Oh yeah, yeah I get. Pretty, oh, absolutely. Me I too. get pretty <laughs> obsessive whenever yeah. something is new to me, and I actually have had this thought to myself before. Like, I felt lucky. Like, I go to bars, whatever. I hang out with my friends. I go to shows. I'll have a drink, but it was never my thing. Yeah, drinking, and I yeah. actually feel like I'm, I'm kind of dodged a bullet. Yeah, there. I do feel like I'm lucky that that was never like a that never became a hobby of mine because I could see myself, I guess, being that kind of person if yeah. I was into it. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me because I, I've never agreed with the. Uh, I know some people that are super just anti, be like being like a you know what, what, how do you describe it like fanboying like I've never to me I. I can't ever justify being against excitement. Like I just, some people will overhype this or overhype that or whatever, but I just feel like that's all just a byproduct of someone being excited. I can't ever really be mad about that, you know? Sure, uh, yeah. So it's hard, but I also feel like it's, it's 
there's a difference. It, it all gets conflated. There's a difference between fanboying and then like tiring everyone you know out with that. Mm-hmm. You know, right. and so that's where I've always struggled is I like like I you know I could go I could tell you fucking anything you wanted to know about uh, Disney theme park shit. And I go and I go down the rabbit hole on that because it's such a fascinating subject to me. But I always struggle with like, uh, don't bring it up here. Oh, I brought it up too much. I brought it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that's more the issue is like kind of knowing when to like. Hey, bring it out. I was and, legitimately and like, should I mention that Yosemite documentary? Should I mention? Totally, that? totally. Because that is something that's like, yeah, I could, I could go and talk about Yosemite for fucking ever yeah. and i try not to but this is one of the things like maybe you'll like this and so i, I yeah. said it but i almost didn't because of that no and i think that that's i think that that's totally cool and i, and I don't think anyone should be afraid of bringing up their interests no but, but if you went but you know if you went on for an hour it'd be like hey we've been only talking <laughs> yeah, about yosemite and up. i don't want to do that either you know um but that's why i did i honestly me and kevin do creepy old crypt and that is like hey you know like Somebody asked me in the chat about what do you think about this theme park thing. I'll talk about it now, but yeah, it's, you know what I mean. That that comes with getting older, and I think yeah. I, I I realize sometimes like my mind is thinking like, ooh, like you said, Sean, should I bring that up? Ooh, not right now. I always yeah. bring up Resident Evil. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Sure. Um, like the Phantom Pain podcast, uh, Garrett was hard for you and me to. I think. It was very difficult for us to talk about anything else. That was a that was a hard day. It was when when that when that came out. Uh, but, you know? uh, but yeah, it, it's like anything. It's like <laughs> it's like if someone goes vegan and then you know in your friend group, yeah. they're the one who won't shut the fuck up. We that that's the classic joke is like, oh, vegans, great. You're gonna keep, keep talking about it, but really, they're people who have had their life just changed. Yeah, you know, and they and that you know. Like, I, I was fucking, like, eating different all this past year. Oh, my God. And it was hard for me to, like, I would, there were so many times I wanted to talk about it. It was like, you know what? I brought this up 80 times. I need to, you know, just for the sake of other yeah. people's uh, fucking comfort, you know. Yeah, but, exercise. Uh, <laughs> when, when people get into exercise, people yeah. get into a new diet plan. It's like so, Yeah, and I, I don't hold it against everybody. But I think we just all got to do our job on kind of, like, knowing that's, when to, like. Mm, that's mm, normal, yeah. We'll chill. Just about, like, everything in life, it's about balance. You know, isn't that what it's all about? That's what Yoda taught us. Is that what Yoda taught us? Yeah, he brought balance to the Force. Yep, it was Yoda. Yoda did it, ultimately, that. those movies, it was Yoda. It was Yoda it. who did it, guys. He, he brought balance. I'm gonna. Have, don't know what to say to get out of here. So, is there any suggestions of how we could cleanly get out of the podcast? Because yeah. what should I wow. say? Because you're right. When Knocking I say it out of the park right now, Derek. This is a learn. This is a teachable moment. Yeah, this is a teachable moment. I'm asking for help from my friends. I think that's okay. Oh, I thought you were asking. This is all right. You guys. This is what I think your problem is. You present it as if you need permission to leave, and you don't. Okay. It's always like, well, (sighs) I'm sorry. I, uh, I, uh, I think I gotta. I think I gotta hit the road. That does. That, that's what I do. Um, Better be hit. So it's like I'm sorry. He's nailing this. Uh, oh, this don't, hurts, but he's right. I'm sorry that no, uh, fuck. I, I have. Is it? I'm gonna go now. God damn it! I'm leaving now. Bye. Uh, oh, you forgot something. Oh, I've done this exact thing before. Oh, did you forget your keys? <laughs> and then yeah, and then he'll come back in. Oh, I don't. That's know. the Sean yeah. exit when it's camera. Ooh, a professional. That was clean. You should that do was that, a clean Sean. Break. Okay. You should do that. All right. Oh, yeah. Derek came back. Oh, just, I, I actually thought he was gone. Lay down the law. I'm leaving. Yeah. You're gonna miss me. I'm gonna miss you. I'll okay. be back in seven days. See All ya. Right. I'm gonna try that right now. <laughs> See how. This All goes. right. Should we be like mid mid conversation? Yeah, okay. Talk about something. Okay. I'm just gonna interrupt. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so who won the Super Bowl today? Did anybody oh, know? I I really still I have no idea. Maybe it's still it was, ongoing. It was the Patriots. But hey, you guys, you know what? Oh. I had a great time. I oh. do have to go, but. Oh, Sean's leaving. Thanks for right. no, fuck this. Super Let's quit having a fake conversation. That hey, we it. were just talking about this, Derek. Do you, I, I'm curious if people at home feel this way or if they don't. But we were talking about – Derek was, said to me yesterday or today. I don't remember when it was, but it yeah. was like – I feel like more and more people are joining me on the sports thing. Yeah. In my terms whole of life, like being over it, like don't care. My whole life, not interested in sports, don't care. And I've always felt like, loser, you know. But yeah, as time I, goes less on, of a man. 
as time goes on, I feel like eh, more and more people my age are not giving a shit about the Super Bowl or sports in general. And oh. so I told I told Derek personally, I, I haven't encountered I can't say that for other sports because I know a lot of people into soccer. I know a lot of people, you know, still into baseball. Th this and that. I, I can't really speak to that. But football, absolutely, I noticed way less people caring. You know, and it may be maybe because we live in San Diego and our team left. We lost Who our knows? Team, yeah. But I just I know so many people that are like fuck the NFL, don't fucking care. So I'm curious if people at home huh. have you encountered that? Do you know a lot of people who don't care about that? Or is that just us? Because again, we live in a town where we were betrayed by. I our think team. you can see that esports is getting more and more popular, and real sports is not. Isn't the whole thing with football like it's so long between action? Like there's yeah, so few yeah. seconds of actual gameplay because yeah. everything's a play. I fucking bored. I it think takes so long. the NFL sets a high barrier of entry. Like you have mm -hmm. to, you know, buy all this stuff. They black out games. You know, the tickets are expensive. And, it's and just, I think a younger generation is not not even remotely fucking interested. No, in yeah, it's just easier to get into other stuff. Um, yeah. um, I mean, there. I mean, the NFL is almost still entirely tied to cable or television service or whatever and like none of my friends are paying for that you know at this point i mean yeah. sean sean does that's it that i know in my personal circle of friends so uh i yeah i just feel like they are not getting a new generation at all so i don't know but we'll see what do you guys think if they home? if they put out another nfl blitz maybe my only context yeah. for sports growing up were midway's incredible game totally like nba jam nfl that's blitz. what i was saying Never to watched... Rocco too the nfl yeah. is so exclusive with uh the things they make the only game that they tie their uh, name to is Madden. And that's boring like, and simulation. when Madden yeah. starts yep. declining, you have no other avenue to expose yourself to the video game generation. True. The only... I never watched a single game of basketball in my entire childhood, but I could name every player because of NBA Jam. I played NBA Jam all day, every day. And it was like, who's on the who's on the Houston Rockets? Oh yeah, Hakeem Olajuwon. Uh, you know, I mean, it was just well, you could name two because it was two person two teams. players. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, but, but still, it, your yeah. point su is sustained. You Absolutely. knew the players because of the video game. I yeah. knew that Bill and Hillary Clinton were on the Lakers. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. From playing Jam. So, dude, Will Smith too. Yeah, That's hell yeah, weird. they got them all. Uh, I I think I don't know if sports like professional sports. I know the money's going away from it, but I don't think it'll ever, like, go away. No, I don't think it'll go away, but I, I do think they're in a I enjoyed in playing shit. NASCAR's about to go away. Is it really? NASCAR that was the like biggest lose, one. Yeah, they've lost a shit ton of money in the past 15 Fuck. years. Gas prices? That's a drinking sport. No, if nobody watches NASCAR, NASCAR anymore, and the, the cost to sponsor a racer is astronomical, and the company's like, it's not worth it. That's the thing that I'm always bored with, even in football and everything. Like, the money is so fucking huge. Everyone is making all this money money but like the players who are getting hurt and injured or the college teams you know, or like i don't know it's just and golf not interesting tiger woods came on the scene like 20 years ago he's not even really playing anymore after all that shit he went through who's like the he just played in san diego who's like the yeah he did he's starting to try to make a comeback now yeah. i only know this because my dad is obsessed with golf <laughs> anybody else have a dad who loves golf uh, my dad I, watches I golf on tv but you know scott I work with guys that do that uh, blows my mind scott my de my uh longtime family friend scott who yeah. was in version three yeah he was the hunter uh ted geisel whatever uh massive go i mean like golf expert encyclopedia can tell you anything about golf really yeah, yeah. i mean does just, he play uh i don't know if he plays still or not i wow. don't know i think he does occasionally yeah but he like he can tell you anything but not anybody not my, but sport. not my dad my dad is not into that I thought they were going to be all my dad. They used to my mom and dad used to watch a ton of football. And uh, yeah, ever since the Chargers thing, they're like, no, fuck. No, absolutely not. <laughs> and um, they uh, I thought I still thought they were going to watch the Super Bowl today. And it was like, oh, how's that going? And they were like, oh, we went to Disneyland. Oh, OK. They were they kept asking me about uh, should I go? Should we go on Super Bowl Sunday? Should we go? And I'm like, dude, that's an urban myth. That does like people think, oh, there's not going to be anyone. There's not going to be anyone during Super Bowl Sunday at Disneyland. That's an urban myth. There, it's packed during that. 
uh, they said, we're going to roll the dice. And they went today, and actually there was no one there. They, no they were, kidding. They were nice. right. But but I think it was because, like, it, been fl- storming. it flooded last night. Like, they had to cut the hours early. Oh, wow. Which the, they never do. The park got yeah. overran with water? Yeah, places? they were, like, straight up, like, we're closed. We got to close at 8. Like, it was supposed to be till midnight. Get the sump pump. And they were like, yeah, we can't. So I think that's actually why people stayed away. But we'll see. I'm enjoying that wet weather. Yeah, I was digging it. Oh, I'm, I love it. it. Well, every time it rains here, I'm afraid someone's going to fucking total your car, Rocco. Yeah, and that was the thing. I felt really bad because uh, I was going to go to L.A. Saturday. Our good friend. <laughs> hey, I want to get actually. I want to give a congrats out there, Gerard the Completionist. Oh, shout nice. out to Gerard. You saw. I mean, a lot of people here know him. That poor boy who was killed uh, just horribly in our Sucked cell saga up video. Myself. Very, very tragic. But other people might know him as, you know, famous YouTuber. <laughs> he hit a million subscribers, and uh, and he completed his 300th game. He comp- That's what he does. He completes these yeah. games. He completed his 300th one. So he was going to have a whole thing on Saturday. Uh, he, he got like a whole – he had like a whole event. And so I was, I was ready to go to it. I was so excited. And then, yeah, it's like, oh, it's going to pour all day. And I just had flashbacks of – that car spinning out of nowhere into me or whatever. (laughs) And so I messaged him. I was like, dude, I really want to go to this, but I'm having PTSD and I cannot do this. And he was like, don't worry about it. And I said, invite me to your 2 millionth subscriber party. Boom. In a day. Cause that's, what's going to happen. Put it in your calendar. So I just want to give a shout out Gerard. Good guy. Good dude. Good beard. So thank you. I I do think about you when it rains crazy hard like that. I think about you, Rocco, and I'm like, "Thank you, fuck." I if I were him, I would be like looking out the window. Yeah, nope, not driving today. Yeah, the odds are against me. Th- and that's the thing. It is, is it- really only <laughs> when it fucking rains. Yeah, and you're out at night. Is someone just comes careening? It's, fi- it's the final destination, curse. Uh, right. But you know what it is too. It's hey, it wasn't like I'm. It wasn't even I'm scared to drive in the rain. Because guess what? In that storm where my accident happened, I drove great. Yeah. It was it was like hell outside, and I handled it great. It was that other people couldn't, and I'm afraid to be on the road with those normies. And that's what I think about is like, who else is out here driving around drunk? Who's driving around stoned in the rain? Yeah, sw- getting their swerve looking on. looking at their cell phone on yeah. the freeway. Oh, but you know what? I just realized somebody brought it up in the chat. I forgot my car had all the auto driving stuff. I could probably just turn. I could have turned that on and just covered my eyes. Said Siri, go see Jared. Uh, <laughs> party mode. Party mode on the way. Go to see Jared. Yep, Jared the completionist. Gerard. On my way. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard Thorbon. Anyway, uh, uh, Kevin rode up with me to. We went. We did that MLK stream on the way up. Um, were you blown away by the auto driving? Were you Were you wishing I would t- pay less attention to the road? Because I. Yeah, because I kept hovering over the brake and over the wheel, and I know. Oh and I feel God. like I. Kind of, so I'm sorry I let you down. I kind of felt like I let Kevin down. Next time, I next time when the car is full of people, I'll just I'll try to impress him and I'll just stop. Um, I couldn't get. <laughs> uh, we all drove somewhere to film this video that's coming out tomorrow. Uh, we drove somewhere to film it when it was raining, and uh, my onboard, uh, my dashboard, Apple shit you know whatever was not working it, it's so funny because they've made this incredible dashboard apple carplay it's so convenient it's great none of it would work because it required my phone locked after a, a like a update or something so it needed me so i'm driving and i'm like i need maps and all this other shit and it's not what is this oh I, let me unlock my phone and it was like they do they put all these things on on your dashboard to uh to uh, make it not distracting like oh it'll vocally tell you the directions you don't have to look you know but then when the going got tough it was like no dude enter your passcode look down there and enter it oh okay and derek was like yeah i'm glad they really helped with the that uh distracted driving stuff yeah i really (laughs) want you to put in all these numbers into your small phone yeah but you pointed out the car basically drives itself right exactly so i didn't really have to pay attention so really it was probably safer when i was unlocking my phone it was funny like you have a computer on your dashboard and you're pulling out of the parking lot like beep, 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 beep. okay beatles all right hold on and it's like we've gone three blocks while you're doing this stuff 
I don't know. It's like having a laptop built into your computer. I Check also Facebook here. You're like a cop. <laughs> I, I can tweet while I'm driving. I gave Derek a bit of a scare too because I backed up pretty fast out of the parking spot and stopped it. There, there's so many sensors to tell you when and where to stop and the best place and time to do it. It's it really is very. It's automized a lot of stuff. And I backed out my car really fast and stopped within like that space yeah. of the car behind me. Oh my! God. And it was no problem to me because the, on the computer it tells me exactly where to stop. So I yeah, you it's great. And Derek, but Derek's not looking at that. He's looking out the window. Look, you fuck you. What I the just fuck? have a point of pride <laughs> in my car. I I like not using the technology. I even drive a stick Hell no. shift. Oh. I special order. You still do. I special order. You're the only one I know car, still that has that. Because I think it's fun to be in complete control, and it's just a thing for me. Like I like yeah. having absolute control over everything happening in my car, for better or worse. Ro I noticed that Rocco has <laughs> all the technology and relies on the technology, so he's not even looking backwards when he's backing up. He's just looking at a TV and <laughs> holy shit! And I'm just like. You're like an inch away from the car behind you. It freaked me out. Like, yeah. he's so yeah. close to hitting him. He's like, ah, I got the computer. It's not going to let me hit it. And I'm just like, yeah, but yeah. what I said to him is like, when the cyber attack comes for America, you will be the first to die because you're relying on all the technology. When the, Derek, Russi when the Russians hack our smart cars, oh. I'm going to be the one guy still driving, baby. Derek, when we were in Paris, I was using my iPhone as normal, and you were on iOS 4 and fucking couldn't load anything because I'm the master of technology. I'm basically yeah. Neo. I also learned how to speak French to go to Paris, and yeah. you did not. So <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. old school. Yeah, uh, I didn't need to. He had Google he was, Translate. He was Google Translating, and yeah. I was just asking people for directions. Exactly. I don't remember how to speak it now. Because I'm like the Neo <laughs> of travel. But I or had it for Louvre? that weekend. Yeah. Usan Le... Louvre. Louvre? Usan yeah, Le Louvre? See, look, he's wasting all that brain space on... He's not even in Paris right now. Usan Le, Le All toilets. Rocco has to remember is his four-digit passcode. Exactly. I remember... The world is his. We went to uh, dinner the first night, and the guy asked us in French, like, how many for your party? And I went... Do s'il vous plaît, and Rocco was like, "You sound fucking fluent," and I was like, <laughs> "Said two, please." Did the American too, oh, which is, I think that's offensive to. It's so oh, funny. Shit. Yeah, you should have gone like your that. Fingers. Well, should've that means loser like in that. America should have gone like this. Yeah. Uh, I no maybe I don't know if this is like officially the way it is, but what I noticed when I was in Japan. And I tried to speak Japanese. It was very bad. <laughs> I I got the impression there they would laugh, and it would it was almost cute. Like you know what, yeah. sweetie, don't bother speaking Japanese. Just say just yeah. do your best. And it was like okay, thanks. And then in France, I found it was if you weren't attempting to speak French, it was like what the fuck. That's fuck, what I read. Speak fucking French, idiot. We were going to France, <laughs> and I read like what do I need to know to go to yeah. go to France? And a lot of people said. Even attempting to learn yeah. the language will make it so much easier because yeah. there's a resentment for Americans there, and they feel like you just show up and you expect the world to be your servant. Yeah, I yeah. didn't want to be that American, so sure. I was like, I'm going to try my hardest to speak nice. French, and they were all like, really, everybody worked with me. Yeah. I remember we got lost on the last day, and, and there was the guy did not speak English, and I barely spoke French, but we had to figure out which train to go to the airport, and he was very patient, like showing me maps, and so yeah. they appreciated it. Yeah, yeah, I, I had I I was really used to all the times I went to Japan, and they were just like, yeah, oh sweetie, don't bother, yeah. oh you're an idiot, just stop, you know. And that was okay. I'm okay with that. And then but, we did sing Hulk Hogan's theme song in Disneyland. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We did. But that was I've like been, the American Embassy, basically. I've, yeah. I've been, you know, I was good for a long time. But I've been missing Disneyland Paris lately. I've been feeling a, I maybe feel, wow. I'm feeling a return trip. European vacation. I want to go back to that place and eat ribs and sing of songs of America. If it's still there, I don't know if it is actually. I, don't. I just want to see that dragon, dude. And then I can go home. None of that Louvre shit. I already saw that. We saw one quarter of the Louvre. Mona, who? We really did. We're like, we saw a lot, but there was a lot more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was that was insane. I only saw the tip, just the part that's sticking out of the ground, the pyramid. Nice. Yeah, I saw that. That's, and that's I went, the entrance. Thanks, Louvre. I, I, oh, that's all as far as I got. That's the front door. Shit, you go in there. <laughs> Shit, I thought I, I thought I went <laughs> there. You did it. You Has that ever map. happened to you? What was it? I feel like that's happened to me before, where people told me, "Oh, I went to this," and it's like. 
yeah, you didn't go in. I feel like this has happened. Uh, the, the book depository building. Uh, even maybe Disneyland Paris. I remember people telling me the castle was beautiful, and I was like, "Did you go under it? What? No. What's down there? What restroom? Oh man! Ooh. Like that was one of the coolest parts. I thought of the whole. Uh, that's what I liked about Disneyland Paris was actually the exploration. Like rides are one thing, but that park has so many little things you can like find yourself in. Yeah, anyway. and cast members drinking Coca Cola in the break area. In, yeah, in plain sight. You yeah, there were that? a lot of plain sight moments. The where magic like, is not. They don't give a shit. It's not they're, like there's Disneyland, no magic huh? there. Yeah, they're not trying to convince you of anything. Yeah, you're was, in a theme park. Okay, it is kind of weird. It, it was a little bit weird. Um, I'm gonna take off. I'm hungry. It's dinner time. I'm down with you, that too. Oh, you're not gonna ask din, din, first? Jeez. I'm down with some. Uh, you know. Oh, what? I'm I was gonna do the din, Sean din. exit for fun, but din 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 Um, this is kind of like. The, how many I don't know how many after shows in a row we never got to calls we talked so long and never got to calls but you know what when it's conversation so good I don't mind I'll take a call we'll do I'll, they, I'll stick around for one I bet call they mind but yeah I'll, I'll stick we took one. a lot of calls this week you know whatever but if you want to do one let's I'll do yeah, one I think yeah, let's, uh, is that cool? I want to promote Heart Slayers we're taking calls on Tuesday there are currently two new episodes up on the Patreon one of them will go live to the public tomorrow. And I think we're going to try to get them out a little bit earlier. So after we record it this Tuesday, we'll try to get it up on the Patreon as quickly as possible. Check it out and call in 2 p.m. Ah, Tuesday at 4 p.m. Fuck, I fucked it up. Nobody's oh, gonna it now. shit. <laughs> 4 p.m. Pacific time, Tuesday, Heart Slayers. Give us a call. Check it out. Yeah, the Heart Slayers uh, bit.ly slash Heart Slayers for the Heart Slayers Discord. Mm. <coughs> Lots of stuff went up on the archives from MLK so Cast. Oh, MLK yeah, and that's yeah. what I want to say. Every Tons. single day there has been and will be uh, highlights from the MLK Week stuff. Like every day there's at least two things going up on the archives channel. Uh, you have hours of entertainment from that. So stay tuned to that. Keep keep. Yeah. Keep on Dude, subbing. Garrett, you missed it. We basically did a store cast. We went to Walmart I saw. and walked around for yeah. an Yeah, I know. I saw it. That I, was my favorite <laughs> thing in the whole MLK cast. I, I, got I really vibes, believe that. I got vibes of that when I saw you guys <laughs> in the store. I was like, fuck, this is what it used to be like. Yeah, because no one gives a shit about no a Walmart one. at like, what was it, like 1030? 10, yeah. 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 That place is a ghost town. Uh, you can find more employees in... Well, you can't find any employees in there at that late. <laughs> it so was great. People stalking. But, Who's uh, on the line? Yeah, who do we got? Brian, do you want to pick pick a caller here? Can you, or should I do it? <clears throat> Go for and then, it. And then, pretty soon here, uh, last week's PPS will be coming to the archives. Yeah. Yeah, we got some Cyborg Ninja just called in. Oh. I know Frank uh, Frank's Arcade is coming to the archives. Yeah, that's already up. It's already up. Yeah. Boom. So the first two hours of Leon A and all eight hours of Claire tons B. Tons of stuff. And then I might do God of War this Friday. Last week, Brian and I just had we called it fun in the fun house, where I just loaded up an old save. <laughs> And then started just shooting people, like seeing how the game worked. Yeah, yeah. So fun. Just blowing apart zombies. Just blowing them. Oh, okay. Blowing them. Yeah, we got two new Poor colors. Poor Marvin. Up there. Oh, Marvin, what happened? Dude, I love, yeah. I love how grounded all the cutscenes are now. Yeah. Uh, like, very realistic. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, I got to a cutscene with swearing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hadn't. That's like not in yeah. Resident Evil. Dude, Claire, I guess it's in Biohazard. They, they 7, cuss but. when you like shoot zombies. Yeah. Claire's like, "You bitch!" Yeah. <laughs> I did. Ap I did appreciate that they were just yelling. You, bitch. Rocco, you killed me when you Hello? told me you did something Yo. with Leon, and then he went, "Ah, fuck." Yeah. Like, cause that's yeah, your, that's your move. Right. Yeah, it Hello? totally was. And the bitch thing was funny too. Yeah. Okay. What's up, we're, buddy? We're just what doing up, one call. Grand, great, uh, one and done. Oh, nice. Nice. That's, What's up? That's, What's up? Pants Fortnite. We got a hype. Wait, you think because you gave Fortnite. me money, you have power over me? <laughs> no, let me tell you why I have power. Uh, Whoa, hi, powerful. guys. How's it going? Alpha. Hope you're having a great night. Yeah. Uh, I am. Super Bowl was shit. In case, since none of you watched it, it was very bad. I saw Maroon uh, 5. Yeah, they were great. Uh, they did the SpongeBob meme that people wanted. Anywho, Garrett, I want to talk to you for a sec. Oh, I got to go. Come Oh, okay. Uh, a couple months ago. I'm just doing a show. I know. Thing. I, I got that. I got that. A couple months ago at PAX West, this I gave you two steps ahead that here. Longmont Potion Castle USB. You I did. Was wondering, I was wondering, did you listen to all of that? Uh, well, all of it. It's a I lot mean, of content. Shut the fuck it's a up, lot of Garrett. Content. He's not done asking his question. <laughs> okay. I am. All of it? No. A answer to your question. Okay. Anywho, he just no, put out uh, like. I, I, 
I did get a, a thumb drive uh, from this gentleman at a convention. Nice. Where, and you bought this from the guy who makes all the Longmont Potion Castle prank calls, right? Correct. This is like directly uh, from him. His entire, I guess, discography of prank calls, songs, and everything. So thank you again because what I do is just slide that little thumb drive into my car stereo. It's got a USB on it. And I hit random when I'm driving around. So I've heard like, I don't think I've ever heard the same prank call or song twice. There's so Damn. much stuff on. It's like an, I think like a 10 gig thumb drive. And it's, it's like full. So it's like fifteen studio albums with like wow a, f- a fuck ton of like weird stuff. That's the just prank like calls are great. In. I mean, that's what this guy's known for, and uh, I keep being in. I, I find myself. There? It's mainly prank calls or like music where he's used assets from oh. prank calls or okay. from like recording a TV. It's, it's like, like a, I guess death metal. I'm not too some of it. In like some of it's kind of jazzy. I mean, it's like are. one weird guy's like project for 15 years of like making prank calls. No, and 15 kind of years, them. bro. He's been operating since like 1988. See, this guy is fucking four steps ahead of me, Brian. I, I know <laughs> stuff. I'm Derek. That's why Anywho, I, I five steps ahead of me. Also, <laughs> I think I think that's good for that topic. I just wanted to check in because I thought that was cool. Yeah, dude. He no, just thank out, you. I listened to that on out average like album. four times a week. So thank you, man. Good, good, good to know. That makes pants me really for hire. Uh, pants what I for get... hire. Derek Acosta. Pants, pants for hire. What's up? Slow down, bro. <laughs> Slow down. He's gonna talk right. about his special beer he brewed. Pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you into craft? No, uh, Are you into craft? He played brewing? Long Motion Castle for his. Whiskey, yeah. What's no, that green thing behind you? Yeah, what is that? Uh, you, have stu- you have a stuffy there, bro. I think this is the Sierra Mist. Oh, it's just you missed it over I there. That was like a, like a was that a two-liter animal. bottle that was empty? It was two liters, just because it was like there was so little left of it, and I didn't oh, want to okay. grab a cup. You so. didn't, yeah. So. Don't right. dirty you, you you know, down the two-liter bottle before you called us. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're not like on a sugar high right now, right? I did just take a Red Bull. Oh, that's because, oh, what's and what's oh. that's that's because we're staying up. He's we're sweating. gaming. What are you gaming? What are you playing? You need to try the CBD Red Frank, Bull. Frank Garrett, you already know what I'm playing. Resident Evil. I'm 2? playing so much goddamn Resident Evil Two. Oh, it's so that fun. game is so fucking it's good. So good. Is that a Kanye I don't think... album in the? Did background? you find that Sierra Mist bottle yes. in the park? No, I bought it. Oh, okay. it from... oh some sick individual didn't <laughs> leave it there. Yeah, free, it's free Sierra Mist. Right right okay. okay. Just checking. Just checking. Free Free Mountain Dew. Mm. Uh, yeah, so Resident Evil 2 is really good. I wanted to say Garrett mentioned he was, like, playing it and trying to, like, get everything. Yeah. I think that's, like, the wrong way to go about it. I know uh, it is. I, th- I disagree. I, <laughs> I know it is. I know you, that's, that's how yeah, I played it. Yeah, you addressed one. it. You addressed it. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I think the important thing is that, like, you just keep moving forward. Uh, there will be points in, like, the first playthrough I did, I was like, oh, I think I missed some shit, but I'm not too sure. Second playthrough... Uh, when I was doing Claire B, it was just like, oh, I missed that. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Oh. See, and, I'm not missing yeah, I don't know. Like, the whole entire, the, play, the whole yeah. entire replay aspect is like, is like really, really good. Like, you can just play that game in like two hours and just be like, great, fantastic. I, well, I'm on my first playthrough of one character, and I think I'm at 12 hours. Well, that, that's how it, my first playthrough with Leon. Resident Evil 2 is like one of my favorite games of all time. So seeing, I, it was like being in a museum. Yeah. Oh, they fucking retouched the the living like the main room of the police station. Let me take a look at. It. I was I'm like looking, looking at every li- yeah. look, the stars office. I spent like 30 minutes, oh, like bro, every yes. little detail of the stars office. Oh, and, I loved it. And I I've, I've never played Resident Evil 2 or any of the original trilogy. The only Resident Evil game that I've actually played in full was Seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wow. This game, Resident Evil 2. First of all, I think Resident Evil 2 kind of sucks for one reason. It makes Resident Evil 7, like, bad in comparison. Oh. <laughs> uh, and that's, like, the only issue that I have with it. Everything else is great. But I already have 56 hours in this game. Wow. And, like, wow. I think eight hours of that is, like, a friend's playthrough because he was like, yo, I want to play it. So I had him come over. And, you know, I, I, I am playing it on PC with keyboard and mouse, but I got it set up on my TV. And uh, he was 